Hello Masoka Universe, back from vacation and yeah it was a nice road trip through Austria but now I have a lot of catching up to do because I didn't see many many highlights and before we get now to the Premier League um, quickly French Cup final I'm wearing PSG although it was not that easy of a win for them in the French Cup final against uh, Saint Saint Etienne and sorry I don't have any graphics here yet because I didn't get to do anything for France so far next season I promise next season the cup final actually Saint Etienne had many chances and it actually took the game to PSG uh, but in the end with the first real counter Neymar uh, taps one in there were uh, posts hit and of course the big talking point was a uh, foul by Perrin where first was a yellow card on Mbappé but Mbappé couldn't play on they look at the VAR and it was a clear red card and, uh, as far as I hear, Mbappé will be able to play in the Champions League, but this was a big scare. But again, I think the game was rather even. It was more or less the finishing that let uh, Saint Etienne down, although uh, with a little bit more cleanly finishing, uh, PSG could have well uh, increased the scoreline as well. And so it ends 1 0 only for PSG. And I also need to say it was in front of spectators. 5,000 spectators were at the final. Uh, which is now, I think, the first game that I saw, I saw first competitive game where I saw that there were spectators there. But now, let's move to the Premier League. So, for the Premier League highlights, I switched into Chelsea, uh, although they were not the best team in the round, but uh, given, I thought this is probably the most appropriate because they eventually will make it into the Champions League. Also, this my daughter now realized, ah, this is how I switched jerseys in the video. She just saw myself, it was kind of cute. Anyway, um, again, I saw limited highlights. Uh, maybe this is not so bad because this will actually make the video a little bit shorter. You see here the results from round 37. I want to point out Spurs against Leicester. That was the first Huge result. Spurs really had not much trouble disposing of Leicester there. Uh, Leicester largely the better team, uh, you know, with a bit more idea of playing. However, um, Spurs very much on the counter attack and clinically in finishing. And if you have a certain Harry Kane on front, there is no problem there. I mean, it was a, a Justin made an own goal for, Chel for uh, Tottenham. In the sixth minute, then Kane within three minutes and 37, and especially the one in the 40th was a really nice one, both assisted by Lucas Moura. Uh, make it 3 0 at the half. There was not much, you know. Again, Leicester had chances, but the finishing lets Leicester down, and then uh, some uh, errors on the back, and that kills Leicester. And we'll, the storyline will continue uh, into the next round as well. Um, also, it gotta be said, Injuries, injuries, in, in injuries, but it's a definite letdown as we will see in the table. Um, the uh, other big result is Aston Villa against our Arsenal, and uh, because um, Bournemouth had already lost to Southampton, so uh, that was uh, clear, and then uh, City beat Watford kind of handily. So with uh, a win over Arsenal, Aston Villa could have um, could uh, get out of the relegation uh, zone, which they did. They got um, the early goal through Therese Gay. I think it was around the 23rd. Yeah, 27th was the goal. Um, then they had actually quite a few chances. Arsenal had no shots on goal. However, they hit once the post laid on where um, Pepe Reina saves this quite well. Manchester United, who looked flying just two weeks ago, uh, seemingly uh, getting tired because against West Ham only a 1-1 at home and getting actually the um, goal in the second I mean there was a penalty given to Antonio who made it 1-0 uh, before having Mason Greenwood uh, gets the equalizer but nothing really convincing there so um, it was just enough to leapfrog Leicester that's that's how they're kind of limping over the line. And then for the other Champions League spot, uh, Chelsea also did not secure it. A winner at Liverpool could have secured the Champions League spot. Liverpool, however, they got the trophy that day. And yeah, it was a lively and entertaining game that I only saw the highlights uh, just now, but I followed it a little bit. 
eight goals scored. Navi Keita, really nice shot from the outside in the 23rd, opens the scoring. Uh, Mason Mount had a goal uh, um, disallowed for offside, VAR. Then Alexander Arnold, nice free kick, makes it 2 0. And Vinaldum also with a, a shot, shot from quite some uh, distance in the 43rd, made it 3 0. And everyone thinks, yeah, done and dusted for Liverpool. Giroud then uh, pulls one back, typical Giroud goal in, in, in a way, but Firmino with his first home goal after the half, 54th. Reese Davis a three goal lead, however, that did not stay long because Pulisic had something to say about it. First, he assists Tammy Abraham in the 61st to make it 4 2, and then he scores himself. Uh, again, a kind of count counter attacking move in the 73rd. And could Chelsea get a point? Because from all the results, probably the point would do them quite well to claim a third spot. No, Oxley Chamberlain makes it 5 3, and so it ends. Liverpool gets the trophy, not very properly social distance, but you know, I said it before, I hated the Salzburg trophy presentation, I think it's better if you get the trophy and you celebrate it with the team instead you have been all, 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 all along together, so why not? This means that now in the table, um, Liverpool, of course, on top, Manchester City as well, but now United move up and actually got themselves a good shot at making it into the Champions League. A um, little bit limpy, but yes, they had the last uh, day uh, game against Leicester. Chelsea is now, was also now in fourth because of uh, inferior goal difference. And just look at how many goals Chelsea is giving up. This is where they need to work on. Uh, it's very, very clear and all, all, obviously need some defensive uh, match plan. Um, at that point, Wolves and Spurs were battling for the last Europa League uh, spot because of the FA Cup final Chelsea against Arsenal. That was not yet clear. Um, Arsenal could not do it via the league with that loss. So that, that was also big. Uh, West Ham and Brighton saved themselves with the points won. And look at Aston Villa leapfrogging Watford but uh, with only a goal better and goal di 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 difference and also a uh, goal scored were better Watford's tumble continues and Bournemouth also had a slight chance but they should have gotten something out of the South Coast Derby and then we went into the last match day where actually on the crucial places not much changed however there was a lot of leapfrogging and a uh, mid mid table um, Let's go for uh, the champ Champions League spot. I watched Leicester City against Manchester United, where again, Leicester City actually was not all that bad. And Ian Nacho was probably the best player on the, on, on the pitch, but his finishing and oversight, I think, left a little bit to, to, to be desired. I think there was midway in the first half, there was a great counter, where they are three on two and he keeps the ball, doesn't give it right, doesn't give it left to Vardy, um, then takes a very timid shot. I thought this was absolutely a chance missed. If he plays out to Vardy a little, a little bit sooner and Vardy then puts it back to him, they could easily have made it 1-0 right there. Um, United, yeah, did not, I mean, it was not a great, great game. I thought that Leicester probably was the slightly better team uh, or had a little bit more of, more, more of the game. Doesn't need an NSN need to be better. But United hung in there. Uh, Vardy then with an incredible header uh, in the 60th hits the you know the corner of the wood, woodwork which I th was a great chance but it continued this theme Leicester cannot convert their chances and then uh, for one moment they are not watching and Chad, uh, Chaduri loses the ball and then there's a foul penalty foul on Martial in the box and a penalty is given they look at it bar there was no no way the penalty was no not given Fernandez steps up makes it 1-0 now they needed two goals and yeah they could have gotten it because uh, I think it was Harry Har Barnes who uh, had a really great chance uh, right after he came in to Concover. He just couldn't get enough pressure behind the ball. And then uh, was it Evans who had this... Uh, no, it was not, not, it was not Evans. It was Morgan. Wes Morgan. Who the ball was coming perfectly and he hit all, all over it. Ian Nacho probably would have scored that one. Or if there was somewhere. Uh, so there were the chances there, and then there was a, an in, in, interesting shot also uh, that was deflected by Harry Maguire. So, yeah, interesting stuff. 
uh, in the end, a uh, red card, car card got given two uh, events for a uh, rather rough techie. I don't think he meant to uh, hurt the player, but he did not hold back either. So yeah, uh, sent off in a 9, 9 fourth, and then uh, when uh, Kasper Schmeichel wanted to play it out, to maybe, maybe at least get the goal, Linga takes the ball off him and puts it in the net for his first goal for United since late 18. So that settled basically the Champions League spot for United and also put um, Leicester in, in, in trouble. Um, Chelsea got a relatively easy win with two stoppage time goals over Wolves. Um, the goal by Giroud was a uh, tipping. Was the second one was a really crazy call. I have, I have to say, he gets the ball and muscles himself through and gets gets it in. That is what stuck with me from that game. So ended two 0 there. So uh, then, if uh, for the Europa League spots, um, Wolves losing, Spurs just get the result. I didn't see any highlights, but they were one one nil up uh, again through Harry Kane, and then uh, Crystal Palace gets the equalizer. But the point is enough for Spurs to secure the Europa League spot. We will see that um, Wolves still have some hope. They are big Arsenal fans now. And then for relegation, uh, very early, early on, Arsenal took a relatively quick 3-0 lead over Watford. And Watford, I don't know, they like to keep up, uh, to give up early leads in the relegation battle. Obama Young with a penalty, Tierney, and then again Obama Young with a bicycle kick. Make it 3-0 in the by the 33rd. Uh, Troy Dini gets a penalty, pulls one back just before the half and uh, gives Watford some hope. However, they can only get the goal through Welbeck, and then it was a great save uh, also on the shot shot by Welbeck. They could have equalized it, but Watford loses. This now opened the chance for Bournemouth and Aston Villa. And Bournemouth got the job done. I wish I would have seen a little bit from that one, but they get the job done at um, Everton. Uh, penalty through King, then uh, Moise Ken uh, gets the equalizer, but Solanke re-establish the lead before the halftime and Stanislas makes it 3-1 in the eight, in the 80th, meaning that if Aston Villa lost to West Ham United, Bournemouth would have done the miracle. However, um, it was a rather even game. I I understand both teams have similar jerseys. I hate those Aston Villa jerseys. I think Aston Villa, uh, Ast Aston Villa should have played in the other uh, in the other jersey, should, uh, the white jersey. Would have done. I hate those dresses. Really, 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 really. Um, I think at first it was a little, little bit nervy with uh, West Ham, probably even a little bit uh, better overall. However, then Villa got into the game, uh, had a little bit more, but also couldn't find the goal until uh, Grealish. Aston Villa born Birmingham, born and bred. Aston Villa born and bred. However, however you want to like it, makes it 1-0 and joyous scenes everywhere. However, right on the, a minute later, off the kick, uh, kick with Declan Rice to Yamalenko and Grealish uh, deflects the ball into his own net, 85th minute. It's 1-1 one, one, and it's one goal away from going down, but they hang on and Aston Villa stays in the Premier League. What does this mean for me? Yeah, I probably will get now this Aston Villa jersey that I want to get, but let's see. I said I'm gonna hold off maybe for, for a little bit now because we had the trip. My daughter, little daughter has birthday very, very, very soon. So I will see maybe, let's say, mid-August, September-ish, whatever. Okay, uh, Premier League standings. These are the final standings. We have um, the top five didn't change from the previous round. However, Spurs now go over uh, Wolves, which means now that if Arsenal win the FA Cup, Wolves is not in the Europa League. On the other hand, if Chelsea win, then Spurs go into directly into the group stage and Wolves place uh, qualification. As far as I said, as I said a lot of flip flopping uh, here in the middle. Um, Sheffield United has to be pointed out a uh, single digit finish. That's quite amazing. Uh, also, South Southampton, they had the nil nine, and that's exactly the minus nine that they have here. Other than that, I think uh, after that one, they did actually quite well. And on the bottom, Bournemouth, Leapfrog, Watford, but it's not enough. Aston Villa gets the point to stay in the Premier League. West Ham with a very disappointing 16th place. And that ends the season. We have, we already know, to, know 
two new teams to the Premier League. One is uh, Leeds United. I'm really looking forward. The other one is West Brom, which also is interesting. So I think there will be quite some stuff, uh, quite some interesting teams in there. Anyway, as I said, didn't see too much, but made it for a short, shorter video. Hope this is also not, not a bad. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will come with a Serie A video sometime soon. Up until then, bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.